Hey guys, thank you for being here as usual to help me moisturize my driest lips. <laughs> I'm going to do a series of try on videos with the surprise haul, the gifts I received from a friend video. So today we're going to try the Alme Smart Shade Skin Tone Matching Makeup Make Mine Dark. This is number 600. I do have a lighter shade coming, but we're going to see. I was also sent a video by the same person who sent me these wonderful gifts. Um, of a tutorial of someone using this and the person did not use a primer so I'm like am I supposed to use a primer or not yeah I'm a picker yeah and that's what this is to up here and over here I believe my sunscreen was breaking me out anyway <laughs> I do just have more skincare no primer no nothing as you can see under my eyes so you see all of my imperfections that makes me perfect and the breakout from my sunscreen so I'm thinking because this side has more stuff these are freckles this is a breakout this is a breakout that's a breakout these are freckles this is a breakout this is pretty much clear so I think I'm going to put it on this side of my face <laughs> to see what it covers. My nose is usually red and eczema under here, which has cleared up, but it's still red. So I hate using <laughs> my hands, but I'm told that's the best way to use it. That's the way my friend uses it. The video she sent me, that's how it was used. I'm babbling, I'm going to get into it. So I'm going to, in the video, she put little dots and rubbed it in. This is gonna be awkward because I'm right-handed and this is my left hand. And then she said, <laughs> it doesn't say to use it this way, but that's how she does it. She squirts some in her hands and then she just rubs it on like moisturizer. I kind of feel like that's what I want to do, but I'm not because I just want to do half of my face just to see how the coloring goes. And so, and I could do it this way and not necessarily with this hand. That's what I think I'm going to do. So this is what it looks like. And I have a feeling this is too much. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to put the lid on yet because I don't know if we more, need more. And then just rub it in. So let's keep going. Ooh, it covered that. But it looks kind of, oh, the coloring. I'm not, keep rubbing it in Dion and just see what it does. That in-between color, that lavenderish color. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> Trying to get a straight line because I went over the middle. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and she takes it over her eyes too, which, uh, it was like a no makeup makeup look. And so she just put it everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so strange to me. Okay, so. <laughs> Definitely not my color. Um, <laughs> you can still see the marks. Um, yeah, and you can still even see this one. So it, I, I'm not sure what coverage is supposed to be. You know, let me go ahead. Oh, and it's like, oh my, oh my gosh. I, I do not like using my hands for stuff because then whatever I touch just gets really just gross I'm trying to see what it else it says it doesn't really say I was trying to see what the coverage was like I don't even know I guess medium coverage I don't know this is a dark um, freckle mold whatever you want to call it but it didn't cover this it did not cover that you can still see my freckles more so than when I wear other foundations definitely not my color um, I don't know what kind of coverage this is supposed to give. So this is my skin. Very bronzy. <laughs> so maybe if I had a full tan, maybe. But then it's really noticeable. And my neck is not the same color as my face. And I don't try to even match the two. But even with the foundation that I normally wear, it doesn't look this off like this. very interesting 
I want to see what it's going to do with my under eye area. To me, it looks almost the same as this side. And I think it's making it look a little darker because if it's going to match your skin tone, it'll match light here and it'll match dark under here. She did put on concealer though. And so, oh, what can I wipe my hand with? <laughs> Not a white <laughs> hand towel. So I'm going to use this one. <laughs> You know what I'm thinking of doing, even though, uh, even though she says it's best to use with uh, your fingers, I think I'm going to try a brush with this side just to see. I do believe you, friend, that it is best applied with your fingers. I just want to see what it's going to do. And you can see the line here where it is and where it's not. Definitely not my shade. I'm not sure what the coverage is supposed to be. I keep saying that. I know. I'm just trying to figure this out. I am going to take... I'm going to put some on my palette because I'm, I'm just done using my hands right now. And so we have that there. I'm going to press the brush in it. And instead of stippling like I normally do... And because you're supposed to rub it in, I'm just rubbing, rubbing it in. And this is what it's looking like in a brush. I do like this side better and maybe because it's not as dark. So I'm just having trouble. I'm just <laughs> struggling here with what it's supposed to look like and it may just be the color that's throwing me off it did not cover this down here you can see more of my freckles than normal for no makeup makeup day possibly I'm gonna <laughs> she used her finger for concealer too in the video oh gosh Oh, this is the 11.5 Butterscotch Bright Future Gel Serum. <laughs> I keep using my fingers. And I put too much. I put too much. So I'm going to wipe some of that off. I never put on this much concealer. So I'm wiping it off on this cloth. Okay. And on this side, we're going to take the brush and just pat that in. And this is the same brush that I use for the foundation. This side, I'm I'm liking a lot better than this side. This looks bright under here. This evened me out, the concealer. And then she lightly said it. I'm not even going to do that because I'm going to end this video here. I just wanted to see what it was going to do. Yeah, and that's already dry, which is good. For the most part, it's dry. So... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Finger side, brush side, same concealer, but it's so different looking. And this is my side with the double bag. So you see when I smile, I didn't use this brush, which is nice. So this whole entire area is just hollow right here or sunken in. And this side has an extra bag. So it's like one bag, two bag. This has a carry on. This is like full set matching luggage. <laughs> See that? Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to end this video here. Thank you for watching. If you have this product, let me know what you think of it. Let me know how you best use it. Do you use a primer with it? Do you not use a primer? Do you use your fingers? Do you use a brush? Do you use um, a makeup sponge? Let me know. You'll see me in the next video. Thanks.
Second time trying the Almay Smart Shade Skin Tone Matching Makeup. I think I can make it work because of the lights. It washes me out a bit and with powders. And so we're going to see what this does today. I didn't use primer the other day. I'm going to use primer this time. And I'm going to use it with my hands. I don't want to use my hands. Um, <laughs> since I'm not putting it on my palette to mix with beauty oil like I do with... Um, Yes, I can chew gum and walk at the same time. It's like I do one thing and then I can't speak. <laughs> that I do with the Estee Lauder foundation. Last night, well I should say this morning, before I took my shower, because I'm not colonel, so I go to bed like usually between 4 and 6 in the morning. I noticed that my face was red. Like this was red. I have extra bumps on my forehead in this area. This was red. And this was anything different. And this did make my face itchy. And I only left it on about an hour after the video. And then I double cleansed my face. And then also last night, well, this morning, <laughs> before my shower, before I went to bed, I did use one of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta pills. This foundation is most likely a no for me, but I'm hoping that with the primer, it'll create a barrier. And so maybe it won't itch as much or itch at all, but we're just going to jump into it. I don't know how much to use. And so I just put, <laughs> there you go. Now you can see it that much on here, which is, looks like kind of a lot, but we'll see. This is the brush I used yesterday. I did wash it. I'm just going to tap it in and then just go ahead and... <laughs> start rubbing it around my face to get the color to activate. I did like it when I used it with the brush yesterday. I'm going to pick up some more. I liked it better with the brush than with my hand. And I don't know, maybe because it sheared it out some, but the, the look of it just seemed a little more seamless to me. And I spoke to my friend that sent this to me. She did say it's supposed to be like a light coverage. And I had told her it should be marketed as a tinted <laughs> moisturizer, even though I don't find it particularly moisturizing. But this is definitely, for me, not a foundation. And so right now, and I think I look like I have a tan. This makes me very bronzy. I'm going to put a little more on my palette because I want to dab some in the corners of my nose where my eczema wants to permanently reside these days. At least see if it'll cover that up. And my nose, my nose is red. 42 degrees today. I have my bedroom window open. I have my balcony open. My balcony door open. So this is what we're working with. I did not put any under my eyes. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take concealer. I'm going to take 11.5 butterscotch, the Sephora. I'm wondering if I should use the caramel. The caramel one is a little bit darker. Well, not a little bit, it is darker. Butterscotch and caramel are two distinctly different colors. And we're going to take this brush and pat that in. I do think I want to try the caramel, which is the number 13. This side to me looks brighter. I don't know if it's because there's my kitchen light is on over here. This side to me looks perfect. But then this is my side with my double bag so that might be why I don't know and I put that in two different places <laughs> I am tripping all right so let's blend that out I've been up for like an hour and a half but for some reason I still feel like I'm half asleep I went out drove my trash to the dumpsters checked my mail we have a cluster box where I live 
I did have a package on my doorstep today, which is sitting here, so I don't forget to open it later. All right, let's go ahead and set our face. I normally use whatever brush I use for foundation to, to press in powder, but I'm not today because of that foundation. So we're just going to take, what is this, Fenty bronzer brush. This is a translucent powder, which does still add color to my face. I'm going to take a the Fenty Setting Powder Brush. So we're going to see if we can get this shade to work. Still noticeably different. I don't know if, if the lights are washing it out on your end, but even like my chin is very bronzy and this is like very yellow. Even here. And I never do match my foundation to my neck. because They are two different colors, but when I have zero tan on my face, if you rewind and look at the video I did yesterday, which is attached to this video, you'll see <laughs> before I put this foundation on, it was like almost the same shade as my neck. I'm going to take the Fenty Setting Powder in Honey. I'm not going to take Nutmeg on the perimeter of my face. 